Hi friends, in this video let's talk about left join in the SQL Server. First of all, to work with any kind of join we need minimum two tables. So in this example I am going to take two tables. The first table is a employee table and the second table is a department table. So before going to talk practically, so let me show you a, a pictorial representation of the left join how it is going to work. Now let me go to the uh, pictorial representation. So there I have employee table and department table. So here the employee table is a left table and department table is a right table if you see that. The black circle is at the left table and the green circle is at the right table here. So when I apply a left join what will happen actually. So if you apply any kind of join first so you will get the common data. So the, there is a common data between employee table and department table you will get it when you apply inner join. Okay. So then when I apply a left join what will happen. So along with this common data so I will be getting the remaining data which is there in my left table. It means that so whatever the data is there in employee table I will be getting it. Now so let us assume a scenario. So there is an employee is recently joined in the company so which is not tied to any department. In that scenario in my left join so that employee also will come into the result. So that is nothing but a left join. It means that what are all the records are there in the employee table so that will come as a query result. Now let me show you practically. So let me go to the left table first. So here if you see that my left table is an employee table. So which are of having six records. So out of six records. So there is a employee. So who joined recently assume it who joined recently and it is is not tied to any of the department. Okay. So now let me go to the right table. So department. So the department is the table which contains two columns and three records 10 20 and 30. Now let me write a left join between these two tables. So similarly how we write the inner join we will be writing a similar kind of query but with a left keyword. So let me write it first let me put a join condition first then I will go for the list of columns which I need it actually. Okay. Select from employee table I am going to keep alias as E left join I am going to use a keyword as left under that next to that join left join. So you need to use a left join is a keyword left join department I am going to keep alias name as D on E dot DEPT number equal to D dot DEPT number. So this is how you need to write the left join between employee table and the department table if you understand very clearly. Now let me put what are all the columns I need here. Now E dot ID employee comma E dot employee name comma E dot so joining date comma E dot if I want department number or uh, salary I can put it now D dot the department name I need these columns. So now if I run this if I run this so because of the left join so as we discussed we will be getting the satisfied records. So the satisfied records is nothing but this common place and and the records which are not satisfied with the department table those records also you will get it. Okay. Now let me run this query. Let me select this specific query and let me run this. So that time I will be getting all the satisfied records. First five are the satisfied records and the next are the not satisfied record. Then, then what would be the department name for the particular employee? The department name is null. So whenever you get a not satisfied records as a part of the left join. So those columns will be null here. That is the reason why department name is null. So that is how my left join is going to work. So that's it. So if you have any questions on the uh, joins or any SQL concept, please write a mail to training to SQL at the rate gmail.com or comment your question in the YouTube comment section. That's it. Thank you for watching.